Oh, hello, and welcome to this week's episode of On Deck with Avoya, your weekly travel update. I'm your host, Chris Green, Director of Network Expansion for Avoya Travel, and we have a very special guest joining us today. Carrie Kirsten, Donna Birdsong, Steve Hershan, Sam McCulley, Laura Burke, Brad Anderson, Gary Murphy, Charles Sylvia, Nikki Freed. Please help me in welcoming Donna Ritzenhaller. The Avoya Network is our, is our extended family and a family that plays together stays together. It was an 11 hour day. And I said, really, how much time do you think I put into this? And he believes it's about 55 to 60 hours a week. Um, it is not a hobby for me. It's more of an addiction, if I'm gonna be perfectly honest. <laughs> um, First one is point or point your passions in the right direction. And in the context of starting your own business, and in, and in particular in the travel business, um, if that's if that's where your passions lie, point in the right direction, right? Um, and that is find the right you know um, host agency or in our case you know travel platform company that we are to partner with, um, you know that really is gonna and, and do your research of course you know and and so point in the right direction, find the right partner, um, and also you know be true to yourself in terms of that direction in terms of. What are you really passionate about? Are you passionate about cruise or tour or land? Well, I mean, agents are experts and, and we talk about specialization at Avoya quite a bit. So our, our agents are not just randomly selling a product that a client might walk in and ask for. They are very specialized in working with five or six or seven vendors where they can really learn that product and that vendor inside and out. You know, Chris, we've always focused on distributing our product through our travel advisor partners because we believe that's the best way to deliver the product and ensure that we're putting the right guest on an Amish ship. And through relationships, we have that understanding. There's a trust involved and um, it just seems to work. You know, I know I can get in touch with Jeff or Mike any hour of the day and they know they can get in touch with me. Yeah. But Laura, walk me through some of the practical things that takes that word engagement from just being a fancy buzzword to something that's truly meaningful for an independent affiliate. So probably my biggest example is making an effort. You know, when when you go through the motions, going through the motions and just checking the boxes off, that's not being engaged. It's the people that are actually putting a plan together, testing that plan out, and then assessing the plan, meaning in utilizing the resources that go along with that. That's not us holding their hand, but them going, okay, I've done this, I've tried this, and I'm not having the success that I want. What can I do differently? And we have that. Um, I adore, on behalf of Celebrity Cruises, Jason and everybody, we adore Avoya. And who you guys are, what you stand for, um, and how amazing you are in this industry and that we all need you. Exciting. Um, you know, every, every father hopes that their children will find um, a path in life where they feel fulfilled and um, can use their expertise. Part of, part of our whole Anderson family philosophy over the years was we weren't smart enough to do it ourselves. We needed, we needed other people that had expertise in different areas uh, that we could, we could work with and, and participate with. And so it, it feels good. Um, they're, they're awfully young whippersnappers now that they're 40. So. I think, boy, I, I teach a class every month to new to the industry. And the class I teach is why should somebody do business with you? Mm -hmm. And it's really important that you know the answer to that. And you can't- well, We're about to enter it. Um, I'm, you know, I, I, I speak with hundreds of travel advisors every single month and uh, as well as cruise line leaders and, and gangbusters. You know, I think the future is not just for the cruise industry, but for leisure travel. P consumers are not going to wait anymore. And I know that a lot of the people on this broadcast already know this, but they're not waiting. You know, they sat in their homes for a year, year and a half, and 
they didn't spend a lot of money and quite frankly their values changed and they realized that uh, we need to spend as much time as we can with the people that we love uh, having uh, once once in a lifetime memories and we as travel advisors are exactly the people who can make that happen that's one of the great common denominators or one of the great shared characteristics that we all have as travel advisors is that we are looking to be heroes and heroines to these people that come to us that want to get away we're here to make their dreams come true and that